What is up YouTube? Today we are dipping our toes into a rogue light for the first time with today's sponsor of the video, The Crack Pet Show. It's an action-packed road light shoot 'em up with the aesthetic of Happy Tree Friends, if you know that. Uh, great. If not, don't worry about it, but it also has music from the composer of it. And just like other roguelikes, you basically go through these dungeons that are randomly procedurally generated, and you attack people with multiple different enemies, multiple different loadouts, multiple different perks, and it's just a really fun time. The plot of this game is that there's a post-apocalyptic world that uh, basically people just want entertainment, and you are the star of the show, so you get currency in forms of likes, which, you know, sometimes as a YouTuber, that's what I feel like. And of course, if you die in the game, you can still unlock better perks for future runs and make your character a lot more explosive. And you can play this game both solo and couch co-op, so if you have friends over, you can boot up the Crack Pet Show and have the time of your life. The Crack Pet Show comes out for Nintendo Switch December 15th and 16th, which is right now, you can get it, and the link in the description. So again, thank you to the Crack Pet Show for sponsoring this video. Let's get into some gameplay so you know what to expect. And this game does have both a campaign and an endless setting, the endless one you have to unlock through the campaign on the Nintendo Switch, but you get to play both. You can either have like really long runs that are going to be different every time, or you can just do endless where you just are going over and over again with no end in sight to try to get a high score. So I did play around with it just to make sure I was comfortable with the controls because I didn't want to show you scrub tactics, and I got pretty far, so let's see if I can beat that score up there, wave 310. Alright, let's see what perks we get. Maniac. Increase your damage when your health is low. Eh. Bouncy bullets. My projectiles bounce off of walls. That seems really good. Stun grants a chance that the enemy will be stunned after taking damage. I'm gonna go with the bouncy bullets. Which I'm not sure exactly how useful that'll be, but it feels like it'll be the most useful of the three. So again, you get the power-ups, you get different items, but again, these are longer waves instead, as opposed to individual stages. Wait, does it also bounce off of the floor? Oh, it also bounces off the floor. I thought it just said walls. I just get to shoot. I just get to shoot, and it just goes. Crazy. We love invincible rolls in the roguelikes. Oh no, it bounced over them. Oh no, I have to actually be a little bit more careful than I thought. This seems like so far, at the very least, an easy combination of enemies that they gave me for this. Because again, all the enemy spawns are different because they are procedurally generated. So the run or two that I did, uh, these were not the enemies that I got on my first, you know, wave of enemies. It's kind of nice that I can just shoot, and if there just happens to be an enemy where I ended up shooting, that I can just hit them anyway. Oh no! I just ran into it, that was my bad. I can't tell if that's an owl or a frog that's jumping. Because, I mean, it's making frog sounds, but to me it looks like an owl. Random gun? What the fuck? Oh my god, it's literally just all the different guns. I haven't even seen most of these. That's so cool! I mean, it's gonna be inconsistent, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I don't know what to think about this. Bro, some of these weapons are crazy, what the? Oh, I didn't mean to, wait. Did I put a turret down with my gun? What the? What is that? Like, this is inconsistent, so it might not be great for certain things, but wow, is it fun. You get to see so many different types of guns. This is the best. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't get this the last time I played, so this is, like, all new to me. We love invincible dashes in this house. Oh, but now the bounce thing is so good because all of my guns have more range. I just noticed that. Unless they, like, explode. But, like, if they're, like, a bouncer... Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this. Let's see what, did any other items spawn? So I guess I'll take the turret. Cause now I can put the turret, cause after each one of these, you get a boss fight. So I'm just gonna put the turret down in the boss fight cause it'll just shoot for me. I'm not good versus this toad. Uh, that pattern stresses me out. Well, hell, I'm already at half health, so. Oh no, it was too far. Oh my god, that gun did so- some of these guns are doing like a ridiculous amount of damage. Jesus Christ, that did so much damage! That was so easy comparatively. Y'all have no idea how much I was struggling. Doom gun. So it seems like the doom gun may contain traces of copyright infringement. 120 per hit! Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm still gonna do the random gun. Now let's get a perk. Replace your contact lenses so I have better shooting range, I move faster, or I increase my shot frequency. I'll take I'll take speed. I feel like speed is the most important, because again, it's more important to not get hit in these type of games than it is to hit your opponent. In my opinion, of course. Gotta scratch my eye, get ready to go. We're good. See, like, look. Some of these guns are ridiculous. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, what is this enemy? Yo, I gotta kill these guys. Jesus, not a fan. Oh, I stuck him there? That was a crazy gun. What is it going on? Dude, I 
can't even predict what's going to happen because of the nature of the gun. And some of these guns have like ridiculous range too. I'm just gonna place a turret over here and just kind of hope that it helps. The fact that my stuff also bounces off of walls because of like my general perk is kind of crazy. Like I, sometimes I just see my bullets like randomly exist for so long. A bowling ball, that did 200 damage. <laughs> Why did it do 200 damage? <laughs> Uh, I guess I mean I guess it was a strike or something. I don't know. I feel like unless I get one of the guns that I really like out of all of these, I'm just gonna keep the random gun. Although consistency would be nice. I am getting bodied by these crabs. Oh my god! I've literally got hit four times. No, I was trying to get my item and I just waited too long. Please give me any health, any health, please. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, well, unfortunate. So let's try again, let's try one more. Cause I feel like the random gun was good. It was fun and I got to see a lot of weapons, but I don't think I necessarily liked it. I like the shark. He's happy, he's happy. An aura surrounds you, giving you and your teammates inside the chance to resist damage. Boo, bullet haste. For some reason my bullets fly faster now. That sounds nice. I feel like that means it's gonna kill the opponents easier, which is something I feel like I like. See, look, the map is entirely different now. Like not only is the map different, the enemies are totally different too. Yeah, consistency is definitely nice, because I know exactly how long it's going to take for me to kill all these things. So while the random gun was very cool, I don't think it was uh, necessarily the most practical. I don't know what fart does, and I'm too scared to look. I'm just going to not mess with those, but <laughs> it's kind of a weird enemy. They go once every like seven seconds. Oh god, I didn't even notice the ice there. So I'm going to have to fight the boss with a completely normal weapon? I'm pissed. Well, I guess I can fart on him, which is nice. Which is not a statement I ever thought I would say. I mean, I'm not a Wario main, so. Okay, I have a completely normal loadout, which is kind of unfortunate for, oh, it's a different, it's a, that's different. Oh, geez. Oh, I love how those lasers are working. I think that's so cool. That was awesome. It's a little stressful, but again, you learn the patterns, kind of just like, like if, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, games that you just learn the pattern of the, my role was it a long cooldown. Uh, you learn the pa their pattern and then you suddenly just like start doing really well. Same thing with, you know, roguelites and roguelites. Ow. I am, I started doing worse once I started being like, yeah, I understand this. <sighs> oh, thank God there's a health thing. Gurf nun instead of nerf gun. Oh yeah, that was super good. Big fan. Hell yeah, more heals. Let's go. <laughs> Love heals. Heals are great. All right, what upgrade do I get? Chance to resist damage. Boosts my damage, shot frequency, and walking speed when entering each state. Uh, no, I just get the constant walk speed. The other one seems kind of busted, but not for the endless, right? That would be good for the like story mode, I feel like. Because then like stages are a lot shorter. Yeah, this was one of the guns I really liked when I was using the random gun from the last run. I'm schmoovin'. What's this do? I might go back and use the nerf gun later, like for the boss, but this seems very useful. Well, it also does like a lot of damage too. Oh, I like the chain balls a lot. This is one of the weapons I had in uh, my practice run. Very, very good. And again, even though I've like had some of these weapons before, it still feels entirely different because of like, all the different enemies and the different layouts and stuff like that and the different combinations of enemies. So like everything feels super fresh every time you play, which I know is one of the appeals of these type of games in general. But as someone that is not experienced with them, this is a nice first. It's a nice first time. Heart. Gotta wait for the lava to cool, then get the heart. See, like, look how much better this one is going, because I have things that make more sense to me. See, look at that. That was way easier. Look how much farther I got. Okay, so I still have my health. Again, I can just kind of do th this, and then take a different item. Is there another item on the floor, or is it just the teleport? Electric mine. It leaves an electric mine on the ground, stuns the enemy who steps on it. Ooh. And I think I currently, I want the gun I'm currently using. It's really good. Again, if I find a better one, sure, but I think of all the guns that I saw on the ground, this one's the best one. So again, giving myself the best chances for the epic mole. I'm not trying to shoot the crowd, I'm sorry. It's not on purpose, I swear. He went Super Saiyan. I wasn't ready. What do I do? What's his plan? I've got the timing really well on that one. Okay. Whew. So again, we're way farther than the last time. Also, yeah, we'll always take heals. I feel like heals are always better, no matter what. 
Stun after taking damage. Increase my max health. My projectiles bounce off of walls. Ooh. Plus two health? It's a whole other heart. Okay, so I think I saw a couple of these enemies in the last run that I was doing. So I'm a little familiar with what everything's happening. Come on. I believe in myself. This feels like a good run. I, I like my items. I like my gun. I feel like I'm chilling. I used to be Baby Shark, but now I am Daddy Shark. Do, 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 daddy Shark. Do, 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 do. I'm sorry, that was a little cringe. God, I'm not even getting hit, so I can't even use the hearts on the ground. That's crazy. I'm just so talented and bald. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Why did I have to talk shit? Immediately I got hit. Okay, I'm gonna kill you, because straight bullets are a problem, like fast ones, because I can kind of deal with the rest of it. Which I know I got hit to get that health, so it wasn't actually a good trade, but, you know, it's okay. Alright, this out, oh, this weapon's broken. Considering I can only use my heal thing once a, once a map, I can just take whatever other item once I use it. That's crazy good. So now I have to definitely take this. Because this will count as the next stage. Chain Balls is pretty good. Stun Explosion was the item, so I'm going to keep the heal. Oh, I love this one. Fireworks is kind of broken. It does so much damage. I didn't even notice that it existed. I would have taken it in a heartbeat. DJ Horse. DJ Horse. DJ Horse. DJ Horse. Like, look how much damage this is doing. It's crazy. DJ Monkey. DJ Monkey. DJ Monkey. DJ Monkey. DJ Monkey. I don't even know. Is this... Like, it literally... Nothing happened. I just demolished it. Well, hey, that was level three, so this is the farthest I've got, I think. This is my best run. Out of my, like, four runs. Okay, what do I have? Dash attack. While dashing, you shoot additional bullets to the sides. That's pretty good. As an extra bullet when attacking, that's pretty good. Lava bullets. Your projectiles leave lava on the ground that deals damage to enemies who touch it. <sighs> Ooh, these are a hard cho this is a hard choice. Hmm, it's between these two. I don't know, that's hard. What would you pick? And let me know down in the comments below if you're enjoying the video. While down there, subscribe, turn on notifications, ring the bell. All right, sure, I think the lava's better. Which is gonna be crazy, because it's just gonna, it, I'm just gonna, everyone's gonna die. Which is the point? Like, no, characters just melt with this. And leaving the lava there is actually kind of ridiculous. And I think my test run, I had like a, a thing that was just like, oh, your enemy, like if you hit someone with your gun, it like bounces off. Oh, I didn't realize that was a wall. It's like, yeah, it like goes to the next enemy. So I got like multiple of these shots, which was ridiculous. The lava asks la also lasts for like entirely too long. 10 seconds, that's a long time. I just ran into that, that was my bad. But yeah, being able to like, look how much damage they're taking in the upright just because of the lava. It's crazy. Like, I can even just, like, if I'm scared, I can just back up and shoot stuff, and then eventually, like, they'll run into it. Like, that's so nice. Like, this gun is actually just absurd. I love it. Especially with the combination of the lava. Which, like, seems a little overkill. Like, it's probably, like, a faster shooting gun would probably be better with this, because that way I can have all the lava. But also, I think each individual bit is also spawning lava, which means that there's, like, a concentrated lava pool over and over again, which is kind of, to me, insane. Four, seven. I'm killing it. I'm, I think I'm doing I'm doing really well relative to my standards because I don't play these type of games. You have to remember that whatever happens, you're not as good at the game as you think you are. You're never as good. Unless your name is MKLeo or Faker or some of the gods of gaming. Like, Daigo can be confident, you know? All right, so I have three hits left. Does anyone want to drop a heart? Oh, they dropped a heart. Let's go. I didn't see it when I was saying that. Okay, so are there any other items I can use except for this taunt thing? Because, like, I don't think the boss is aggro on you, really. I mean, I guess they do with, like, their little shots, so maybe I can use it like that. Lionstein. Oh, we got the spinner Rooney lasers again. But, like, look how much damage, dude. It chunks them. Oh, thank God I was invincible when that happened, because I absolutely would have got hit. But, like, also, he's standing still, so he's just constantly taking lava bits. Dude, that was so broken. 10 per hit. I mean, the thing is, like, this gun, like, look how much damage this gun does. 15 a hit, but then it becomes a bunch of the little hits, which is crazy. I, I'm killing it. I'm, I'm loving this loadout. When dashing, you leave behind a fire arrow that deals damage. That's good. Poison. When healing, grants a chance that an additional heart, healing heart may drop. I think let's, let's go with a different thing. I don't think I need to buff the stuff that I'm currently really good at, because I already have the lava and the gun that already does a bunch of damage, so I don't think I need more damage on my gun. I know what some of these enemies do. I don't know what most of them do. 
Like, being able to just, like, one-shot shit is so nice, because I can kind of just, like, move around and, like, figure out what I want to do while I'm, you know, just chunking opponents. All right, they're coming for me now. I got hit. Oh, but there's a... They dropped so many hearts. Jeez. Let's see how I kind of just dashed in there? That was awesome. Let's go. This basically means that, like, I can clear half the wave before I even get attacked, which is nice. Lord, have mercy, please. Okay, no, we're good. We've settled, we've settled, we've settled. Ooh, a heart. I really want that heart. Ugh, I dashed right into that. That one was my bad. Uh, I hate when it's my bad. I'd rather blame the game. What the hell? I don't know what this does. Temporarily makes all of my shots critical. Ooh, I'm gonna kill the boss super quickly. Junk Queen. She does have junk in her trunk. Look at the amount of damage I'm doing. That's so- dude, that was a ridiculous amount of damage, oh my god. And again, the lava, like, I do way too much damage, honestly. Am I- have I not got hit yet? I- why did I talk smack? Oh, Jesus. The little balls from the extra stuff has made it so difficult. Oh, I thought I died. Okay. Well, with that much success, I think I'm going to end the video here with clearing five entire rounds. So again, if you want to check out the Crack Pet Show, the link will be in the description. Shout out to the Crack Pet Show for sponsoring this video. Again, play in this mode. Get a better score than me. Send it to me on Twitter. I'll be hype about you. Uh, so yeah, enjoy the game. Again, available December 15th and 16th, which is right now. Get it right now. Have a good one. Bye. Pikachu busted.